Hello. This video is going to be much different than any other video that is on my channel. Um, I don't like being negative. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I'm someone who doesn't really purchase a ton of makeup. Um, <laughs> some of my friends would argue differently. Uh, however, uh, it looks like I have a highlighter mustache. That's not okay. Hold on. Uno, uno momentito. This was one of my big purchases of the year. Um, I have kind of been more minimalistic with my collection and only keeping things in here that I know I'm going to use and adds value to my collection rather than just having like piles and piles and piles. Um, with that being said, this was a big purchase for me. But I was in the process of editing a full review of this palette, a standalone review. I will not be uploading that review. And I will tell you why. So I'm not the biggest fan of first impressions and I'm also the type of person where my impression on a product will change the more I keep using it. Um, specifically because when you're using an eyeshadow palette, like I'm not going to use every single one of these colors in one look. Like these colors are kind of out there, um, not kind of out there, like they're wearable but they're different, you know what I mean? But we're going to go into a few of the quality issues I feel like no one is addressing. Why isn't anyone talking about this? So I received this email today right as I was about to upload this and I wanted to include it and I am still uploading this video despite having this email and knowing I got a bad palette. I definitely was part of the bad batch but I want to upload this just so you can see if your palette is performing the same way. I saw a lot of people say they didn't try the latte palette before they tried the lemonade palette so maybe you don't have like that same basis of quality but for me this was a major letdown simply because it was not anything compared to the first palette. So I hope you take the rest of this review with a grain of salt knowing that I created this video before receiving this email and they are sending me a new palette so I will review it when I get that new palette in. Um, but I want to show this video to you just so if you got a bad one you can send it back, make it right. I'm going to put their customer service email in the description so if you want to shoot them an email they will send you a new palette. Alright. I will include if you're interested a standalone review of the latte palette I filmed a few months back in the cards and in the description box if you want to see that. So let's look at the Dominique latte palette. This palette was so amazing for me like this was a rev this is the best like hands down like the best most used eyeshadow palette in my entire collection. The mattes are phenomenal. The shimmers are phenomenal. Every color is so softly pressed and there is a little fallout, but it is the most beautiful, easy to blend formula. I think it is so great for beginners and I recommend this to everyone for any, I'm a working makeup artist and for any shoot I do, this palette nine times out of ten comes with me. When I traveled to Europe for studying abroad, this was the only palette I brought. Um, I could get a really cohesive look, tons of looks out of this and it's extremely wearable and for me this eyeshadow palette beats Anastasia Modern Re Renaissance, it beats the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like this is hands down like the best, the best eyeshadow formulation I've ever used. So <laughs> when it came to the Lemonade palette. Uh, Fiona didn't watch any reviews. She didn't listen to anyone. She just bought it on the day of the launch, thinking, thinking that this palette would be equally, if not better, than the first one. Which, like, why would you have a reason to believe like it would be worse? You know what I'm saying? Um, so it was a little overly optimistic. So let me get into my issues with this palette. So this is the Lemonade palette. I think the color selection in here is really nice. A lot of people saying it w were a lot of people were saying it wasn't what they expected um, in terms of the colors not being like lemonadey, I guess, like yellows and pinks. That there's like a couple different colors, but I like that. Like that, I didn't have a problem with that. My issue, like two color selection issues. Um, this one, I've learned that I can use that as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. I'm actually using that today and it doesn't look weird. Like you wouldn't think that this bright of a yellow would look nice for like a highlighting shade, but it does. Um, we have four mattes and all the rest are shimmer. So 
Um, you would want the shimmer formula to be good, am I right? Hey guys, it's Fiona. Today, I'm in my bathroom right now. Um, I am in here because I have the best lighting. And as you see this lovely view of my shower and my toiletries and whatnot, I'm going to be swatching side by side the lemonade palette and the latte palette. One swipe. Espresso. This is creme brulee. Okay, so this shade is lemonade fizz. This one wasn't too bad. It's actually pretty pigmented. It just doesn't feel the same way as the Dominique, the latte palette. It just feels like it's a different texture. I don't know what they did. Um, this one was the biggest letdown. You can see it's already kind of like torn up after only using it a few times. Really getting in there. Okay. Pink lemonade. And you wouldn't think much of that. But it's okay. And swatches don't tell you everything, but it's just... That's what I'm wearing in my eyes right now. And it looks good. I sprayed it. It's workable. It's just not the latte palette, you know? Um, peach. Getting in there. That one was a major disappointment. I mean, that one's pretty much like a very similar color to my skin. So it's kind of hard to see, but that one took a lot of like digging into the pan. You can already tell like that one's been loved. Cucumber wasn't bad. Just feels different than the latte palette. Um, I used that as an inner corner highlight and it was really pretty. It's just not the same. Um, we have strawberry. And dip into that. Right up here. And that one swatches nicely. This one, I give them props. This is Blueberry Fizz. Um, this one feels very similar to Espresso, which was that darker shade we used before. That one packs a punch, um, I will say. Pink Lemonade, Peach, and Strawberry. Fell a little flat for me. Well, hello again. I'm going to set my eyelids with Tarte Shape Tape. Also, my hair is pulled back like this because my bald spot is starting to become prevalent again as it does during the summer and I'm trying not to wear my hair up as much trying to prevent going bald by the time I'm 23 because I really don't want to do that and I kind of want to um, not die alone okay let's move on tart shape tape so that way you can see I am taking the necessary precautions perfect blank canvas setting it down this side is going to be my latte side. This side is going to be the lemonade side. Banana cream. I love the matte white in this. And the mattes in this one, it could be because I just haven't broken them in. Like, this is a very well-loved palette. However, um, these mattes seem to have, like, a slight... They're slight... slight yeah. <laughs> They seem to be slightly softer, and you can see the kick up in there. I have no problem with fallout or kick up, like that doesn't bother me. All I care about is how the eyeshadows blend. I do my eyeshadows before everything else. I do eyeshadows before I do my face makeup, my eyebrows, everything. So if there's fallout, I really could care less. And you can see in Nude Tea right here, it's not as soft. It still is a really good matte formula. And like I said, it could just be because I haven't really broken it in. And this is a little more pinky peachy. So the latte side. I'm going to do just like really simple just so I can show you how the shadows perform. I'm going to go in with caramel.
And you can see that just like blends in effortlessly, effortlessly, effort. You know, like sometimes I'll just do this for my everyday makeup. I will just throw caramel in the crease and like a little shimmer shimmer, and we're good. We're good to go. We're out the door. Okay, and here, mango. Again, no issues with mattes in this palette, really. Like, look at that. Instant. I would buy an entire matte palette of Kristen Dominique's matte formula because I think it's so good. And this color is so unique. It's not like anything else I have in my collection. Like the Jaclyn Hill palette has a yellow, but it's more of a mustard where this is like a bright, like summery. Not even like kind of looks almost orange in the pan, but it's a mango. Like, think of the fruit. And that's what's on my eyeball. And you can see, like, this one obviously looks more bright just because they are two different colors, though. No, like I said, no problem with mattes. I'm doing something, I'm keeping this so simple, guys. I just want to show you how the colors perform. So, this shimmer, this shimmer, and even this pink one right here I don't really have like the most problem with when you feel them they feel completely different than the latte palette the latte palettes feel almost like butter but these feel like they feel okay but they're like kind of chalky they swatch fine they perform fine they're just not like what I expected they're not atrocious okay like I can work with them like I'm still going to use this like I spent a lot of money on this like I'm still gonna use it I'm gonna make it work the colors that are appalling to me are Pink Lemonade and Peach. These are almost unusable. Um, and you can see, like, how much I've kind of dug into here in this one. Like, they look well-loved, and I've only had this for a few days. Um, this is the same brush I always use. And I'm going to kind of go into that Pink Lemonade shade. I'm digging in there. Swirling around, really trying to get some pigment. And I'm not going to spray it down because I want to show you how it performs without Fix Plus. Just almost nothing. Like, that's unacceptable. You. I can make it workable when I spray it, but like, it's like a totally different formula. Like, I honestly, I think I got a bad palette because when I using it wet, swirling it around. This is a damp brush, directly in that eyeshadow, and I have a little bit. And you can make it work, but like the amount of like just digging into that and I have to keep swirling and swirling and swirling around like I said I can still make it work but it's just like not at all what this other palette is let me show you latte palette okay let's do let's do macchiato a little flat brush not wetting it I'm just going right in just like one sorry this is kind of hard to do Couple little swipes. I'll show you what that looks like when it's sprayed. Because honestly, I don't really use eyeshadows, like foil eyeshadows, without spraying them down. But I want to show you, like, how crazy intense this is. And then compared to that, and I don't have a lot of lid space to begin with, but like, look, just like a little further back, like how vibrant that is, and this is nothing. I'll show you the peach color too if you want. Um, so I'm gonna dip in right here. Let's put that in the middle. You just can't see it like I was really digging into that and you just can't see it 
and yes, like these are, they're different colors. Like the colors are gonna show up differently, but like no pigment. Um, please give this video a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments too because I wanna know if I'm just being crazy and this is just me um, because a lot of reviews I see online are very positive and no one's talking about this. So let's start a conversation. Um, maybe on the restock, we can save some people some hard-earned money, and then you won't be, unless they fix it, because the, I haven't heard, I've been like stalking Dominique Cosmetics Instagram and Kristen's Instagram, and no one's talking about quality issues, no one, not a single person, no, mm -mm. it's not being addressed, so let's put this out there, and maybe they can fix the issue.